Okay, now let's tackle question 2a. So we are given a value of sine 30 cos 45 and tan 60. We are supposed to evaluate this expression. So this is going to give us 1 over 2 plus 1 over root 2. 1 over root 2 all over root 3. Now this will give us 1 over 2 1 over 2 plus root 2 over 2 root 2 over 2 all over root 3. Now this will give us this will give us um, root 2 root 2 plus 1 all over 2 then all divided by root 3 now this is the same as root 2 plus 1 all over 2 root 3 now we rationalize the denominator to get times root 3 over root 3. Now this will give us, so this multiply everything here, root 3 times root 3 will give us root 6, then root 3 times 1 will give us plus root 3, plus root 3, then 2 root 2 times, 2 root 3 times root 3 will give us 2 times 3, which is 6. Best we are doing the question B. Three angles of a polygon are 160 degrees each. So, this is the B part. Three angles of a polygon are 160 degrees each. So, let this be the first one. Then another 160. Then another 160. So, 160. 160 here. Another one sixty here. Then we have another one sixty here. Good. Then the next question is or the next info is that if the other interior angles are one twenty degrees each, the other interior angles are one twenty degrees each. So we don't know. So the other interior angles are 120 degrees each. So 120 degrees each. Good. Then find the number of sides of the polygon. Good. Now we know that the exterior and interior angle will give us 180 degrees whether the polygon is regular or irregular then these two will also give us 180 so this will be 20 degrees then this will also give us 20 degrees now if you should know all the exterior angles this will be 60 degrees 60 degrees if we should know all the interior angles and we sum them up, we should get 360. So, sum of interior angles, sum of sum of exterior angles, sum of exterior angle should be equal to 360 degrees. So now we know this, this, and this. So we have 20 degrees plus another 20 degrees plus another 20 degrees then plus so we have multiplied the 20 degrees three times or we have added it three times so how many times are we going to add the 60 degrees to get to get 360 
we don't know yet so let's say we are adding 60 degrees n times so 60 times n should be equal to should be equal to 360 degrees so this implies that 60 degrees 60 degrees 60 degrees plus 60 n 60 n degrees then should be equal to 360 so this implies that 60 degrees or 60 n is equal to 300 300 so our n is equal to 300 300 divided by 60 and this will give us 5 5 so it means we should add the 60 5 times so 1 2 then 3 1 1 2 3 4 then we'll come back to this side so the, the polygon will have already we have three sides one two three plus five so we are going to get polygon p will have three plus five three plus five size which is equal to eight size so the polygon is an irregular polygon because all the angles are not the same 